Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Claudio from Claudio's Kicks, and today I have a comparison for you guys. Somebody commented on one of my videos for the KDs on uh, which shoe is better, the LeBron 21 or the KD 16. And today we're gonna find out which one of these is actually the better basketball shoe, in my opinion. So I'm gonna compare these shoes the way I like to look at my basketball shoes. There's no specific order or anything like that. I'm just gonna compare like apples to apples in a sense. And then at the end of the day, I'm gonna wrap it up with what I think is worth more or which shoe I think is worth spending if you only had one shoe that you can buy. You know what I'm saying? So the KD 16 or the LeBron 20. As far as we're gonna start with the traction, right? So the traction of both shoes is pretty nice. Um, KD, you're gonna have some, you know, a little bit of multi-directional traction. Um, looks like some gears are there, which is pretty cool. Um, especially right there at the corners for cutting or, or you know, side to side lateral movements. You're definitely gonna see the traction rise up a little bit on the KDs. Um, you kind of see that as well with the LeBrons. It rises up right there. You also have some multi direction of traction and a little bit of a flex right there running down the middle of the shoe. Now, personally, when I tried out both these shoes, these take a little bit more getting used to for some reason like the traction doesn't hit immediately uh depending on i played in the same court with both of these and just from the bat just from first impressions um this one's traction felt a lot better it stuck better not crazy much better but it definitely felt better and as i've used them through time this has gotten better but you do have to wipe these a little bit more than what you would want whereas these i didn't have to wipe as much so i felt like the traction when it comes to the kds and the lebrons i'm gonna have to give it to the lebrons in this situation as far as traction goes design now let's talk about the design as far as the design I believe the design of the LeBron 21 is better. I, I just think they're a better looking shoe than the KDs, just my opinion. Um, I love the On Pro colorway, so I'm gonna be biased there. I do enjoy the On Pro colorway more, but as far as just a shoe and different colorways and stuff like that, the LeBron 21 is a little bit more sleek. I like the way it looks. It's It just looks cool. Uh, the way the Nike swoosh comes out, the colorway that they're probably gonna be having is dope. Um, so I think the LeBron 21, is better as far as design goes now let's talk about the cushion um, cushioning on both shoes is amazing kds are known for their cushion uh, well as far as my experience goes with most of the kds that i've had they've been probably the most comfortable shoe that i've used for basketball so the cushion on these is amazing i love the way they use the zoom the full length zoom it's very very cushiony um, they do have some nice padding and uh, the upper material that they use is very very soft flexible and I like I just like the way it feels I, I do also like the way it's wider than the LeBron 21 the LeBron 21 as you can see it's a little bit more narrow down there by the forefoot So that's one thing that I notice as well with the LeBron's that just it's, it's very comfortable shoe just fit and everything I would give it to the KD 16s now the LeBron same thing. They have the zoom air very very cushiony shoe um i definitely felt it when i put these on running jumping whatever it was these are very comfortable as well the padding on these also is actually thicker so you have more padding on these so as far as when i tie my shoes completely these are a little bit more comfortable as far as like lockdown goes when i just lock everything down these feel softer it's, it's a very comfortable shoe as well the only reason why i would probably give the comfort to the kds is because as far as cushion goes they're pretty much the same the lebron 21s have more padding but i do like the way the kd 16 is just constructed having a wider toe box just it just makes my foot feel more comfortable especially throughout the day as games go on you guys know your foot kind of widens up whenever you're playing um, when you start to sweat when you start to get fatigued and things like that i think these are better to have more long term throughout the longer course of the day these are just a more comfortable shoe you know it's i can put these on pretty easy and just feels good these it did take a little tiny while for me to get broken into not that long but like I said, they're more narrow. So that to me, um, it's just a little bit more uncomfortable than the KD. So I'm gonna have to give the cushion to the KD. Now, as far as fit goes, let's talk about the fit guys. So the fit of both shoes, I'd say they pretty much fit the same as far as length wise. So if you go up half a size in your basketball shoes, I would recommend going the same size 
with the KDs. Now, if you have a wider foot, then I'll go up a full size for the LeBrons. That's just one thing I noticed. Um, they're pretty much the same, depending on how wide your foot is. I will go up half a size. Lockdown on these is pretty good. They have pretty much the same amount, um, like the laces stop right there at the top for both. So you're gonna have that pretty much the same lockdown. They're both considered like a low top shoe. So you're gonna have it right there where your ankle is. Now, if your ankles are sensitive or something like that, just wear braces or something with these shoes. But for the most part, you should be good. They have a nice uh, structure to them as well. They're pretty firm. So it's not like your ankle's gonna be twisting in these either. Uh, so fit and lockdown, pretty good on both. I'd say they're pretty much even. If it wasn't for these being wide, um, the fit on these is a little bit more what I expected or what I'm looking for in a basketball shoe the, But the fit is kind of neck and neck in my opinion Another thing that I really want to quickly mention is maybe this isn't the fairest comparison Just because of a small detail that I wanted to mention is that the upper of both of the shoes are different Now these are constructed of like a leather Mix something. It's probably like a leather base on these whereas these have a mesh upper now I'm pretty sure they're gonna be dropping LeBron colorways or pretty sure there are LeBron 21 colorways that have mesh uppers. Mesh is a more comfortable material than leather is for basketball purposes. So just wanted to throw that out there. It may seem a little unfair because mesh is just better for basketball in my opinion, more breathable, more flexible, softer. So I enjoy it more. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention about both shoes as far as the comparison goes is the value. Now, which one of these is a better shoe overall in my opinion i would go with the kd16 the reason being is that just for retail alone these are 40 dollars cheaper than the lebron 21s so as far as value goes you're going to give you everything you're going to get with the lebron 21s or for the most part on par with the lebron 21s and it's just a cheaper shoe it's a signature shoe for a signature athlete so they are quality as well you can just find these at cheaper prices than you would, for example, the LeBron 21. That doesn't mean that the LeBron 21 is a worse shoe. I'm just saying that as far as value goes and what I'm looking to spend my money on when it comes to basketball, I would pick the KD 16 because I'm cheap and I'm gonna use these to fuck them up anyway. So I don't really care about anything being extremely crazy or anything like that. I still want a good basketball shoe and you're definitely gonna get that with the KD 16. But if money's not really a thing for you, LeBron 21 is a great, great, great option. It would be my number one option if they were priced the same. So if that means anything to you guys, you can take that. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope this review gave you a little bit of insight on what shoe you would want to pick if you had both options. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with anything I'm going to be dropping. I'm also going to be having a lot of new reviews up for new sneakers that I will be selling. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you guys for your support. Don't forget to follow the Claudio Kicks page on Instagram as well. And until next time, peace.